Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku. Wednesday, November 3rd, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. CME impact, strong G3 storm warning. This is a geomagnetic storm up to KP8. What looks to be an interplanetary shock just past the Discover spacecraft within the last few hours. The solar wind speed increased from 480 kilometers per second and is now over 700 kilometers per second. It is likely related to the CME activity around two days ago when an M flare headed towards Earth. And this is the Enlil spiral showing you that CME leaving, merging with another CME and hitting us. Well, hitting us right now. And that is the first shock wave from the CME. And that has brought us to KP7 quite rapidly. Now here we can see on the Discover solar wind telemetry, that shock wave smashing into Earth, bringing uh, the plasma speed here from 400. Now it's up over seven. It's approaching 800 kilometers per second. The density is rising rapidly. The phi angle is shifting with the BZ and the temperature is up as well. And that means, well, human health risks. Geomagnetic storm alerts mean there are geomagnetic storm risks for human health heart rate fluctuations, heart attacks, strokes of all kind, acute coronary syndrome, blood pressure increase, seizures, migraine risk, anxiety, stress, emotional instability, cognitive diminution, suicide risk, mental disorder, flare up, radiation risk. So lots could be happening over the next 48 hours. We have only just reached KP7 and it was quite rapidly after going from KP4, jumping up to KP7, we could get as high as eight, maybe higher, the magnetometer is off the charts on both ends. It is going off the bottom and off the top. That is 120 plus nanotesla in instantaneously fluctuating. So very big things happening. And that means big aurora booms. The aurora is only going to get better and better and may come into the U.S. and to the Northeast in just a few hours. As this rotates around 7, 8, 9, 10 p.m., get out there. So we are currently in geomagnetic storm G2. If it gets up to KP8, we'll be in G3 geomagnetic storm. And this is ongoing. This has just begun. We've been, we're in the first three hours with the geomagnetic K index reached of seven. Now the CMA passed Earth. The CMA passed Earth 1957 UTC and currently has a southwest speed of 700 plus kilometers per second. And we are currently in moderate G2 geomagnetic storm threshold, which was reached at 2146 UTC. A watch is now in effect for strong G3 storm conditions as well until 3 UTC on November 4th. So we've got quite some time. Visible aurora will be likely at mid to high latitude. So get out there and check out. Well, look up. That is a boom. We are currently in geomagnetic storm watch for the next 24 to 36 hours. If anything happens, well, if anything big happens, there won't be no YouTube. But I expect some minor perturbations from these activities, including communications, satellites, and maybe some minor perturbations to the grid. And well, we won't know until it's over. So we're going to keep a close eye on what's happening in real time for your benefit. And that, well, that's a boom to knowledge. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And go outside and look up, especially if you're 50 degrees latitude or higher. It should be a boom. Mm.